Remember today that the road to mastery can only be travelled by the person who can tolerate being a beginner. You must accept the feeling of failure and being a novice. This is the pain you must take if you want to progress. Every master was once a student. Don't allow your life to be ruined by the fear of what could happen. You worry about a hundred things, yet only two happen. You suffered a hundred times when you only need two. You feel the pain when or if it happens. Don't feel the pain now. Be present, feel gratitude, and try not to worry so much. Remember today that when others are rude to you, it is only a reflection of their own issues. Ask yourself if their behaviour is due to another reason. If they appear rude, they maybe are shy or unwell. Remain unbiased. Try to be more empathetic. It may help the situation. Remember today that you learn nothing when you speak. You only repeat to others what you already know. The key is to listen and observe. People who think they know all have prematurely finished education and will live a life of ignorance. Bruce Lee once said, A wise man can learn more from a foolish question than a fool can learn from a wise answer. Don't aim to never fail, because that is impossible. Aim to be a person who is okay with failure, and a person who will learn from struggles. Remember wisdom in all that you do. If you are provoked or face an obstacle, take pause. Think it through. Take the steps that lead to the best outcome, not what feeds your ego. Don't be controlled by vices. Take pause and rise above. Trying to control the world around you is like trying to stop the waves of the sea. You can try with all your might. The waves will always crash over you. Focus on what you can control, 
Don't waste your energy on the uncontrollable. Remember today this quote by Confucius. We have two lives, and the second begins when we realize we only have one. Stop waiting for that dream life you have in your head and start today. Appreciate the life you have now. Understand that this is the life you get to live. You can improve it, but you have to accept it. I hope you enjoyed today's affirmations. These stoic affirmations were written by me for my followers on Instagram. Um, many of you have said that you find these affirmations useful and you request many times that I share them on YouTube in this audio form. So that is why I do these affirmations on YouTube. Hopefully, hopefully over time you can build these stoic principles and practices and beliefs into your character by, like I say, listening to them on repeat, writing them down, put them into practice. And like they always say, the best way to learn something is to teach something. So if you pick up on anything from these affirmations, anything you find useful, then tell a friend, tell a family member, explain it to them, say this is how you can stop worrying more. And it helps you remember better and it might help them. So thank you for watching. If you want to support what I'm doing, please consider becoming a YouTube member or subscribing at The Everyday Stoic. That's my Instagram and my website is www.TheEverydayStoic.com and you can get the Stoic themed clothing, which I really like. My favorite is the Amor Fati t-shirt and I say it in every video and everyone's probably bored of me saying it's my favorite, it's my favorite, it's my favorite, but I love to wear it and as it's just a reminder to love my fate and that's why I love it so much. And yes, you can find that reminder through writing it on your hand, through writing it on a piece of paper, through a medallion. You know, you can walk around with something like this um, that says, I'm all fatty. And every so often you go in your pocket, oh, I'm all fatty, love my face. But I like to add a t-shirt because sometimes I see myself in the mirror or I see myself on camera and it just reminds me. Especially when I'm filming these, I can keep seeing, I'm not wearing it today, but I can keep seeing them and be reminded to love my face. So have a great day.